chasing the police every single day. I saw you were over you there. Like over there. The you like it? You like it? I know, I am. I, they're going to be at the park too. There's another uh, distributor over there. Uh, so yeah, I'm running for sheriff. Beautiful. I want to free the weed. Got it. Okay, I, are you from Charlotte County or no? I am. Yes. Okay, so you already know it's freaking tyranny here, correct? All right. I, it, so you know I'm probably not going to win, but at least somebody's you trying never to bring. Oh yeah. If you get your name out there, even if you do it two times in a row, your name gets out there. More that people is true. You. That is true. Even if you don't on the first time, don't get as discouraged. If you're really pushing for it. That is true. In this business, right. people recognize. Um, right. Somebody that keeps family. trying. Exactly. Well, this is what's insane. We weren't even allowed in Port Charlotte come um, last year. It was uh, we got we were the first one by the cameras wow. in uh, Port Charlotte itself, and then came True Leave and True Leave after. Right. Um, but we we were the first ones, oh. and we had to get a, an okay by the city before they even allowed other ones. They wanted to beta test with us. We started Dude. pumping out numbers, and then they let everyone else. In. Okay, I want you to make money. I definitely want to. Is your number here? Uh, that's going to be Miranda. I'm the assistant manager over there. I'm filling in for her because she's at another event. All right. So if I call the store, then you? Ask for Austin. I'm there five, six days a week. Can, can we write it on there? Yeah, because, yeah, dude, I can tell we need to talk more, but I want you to make money. Definitely. Agree? Agreed. That's the whole point. Dude, this is insane. Wow, you're getting a lot of... Okay, I don't want to kill your business. All right, I'll get a hold of you, man. Awesome. Good nice to night. meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice shirt. Sorry. Thank you. Can I give you my card? Uh, I'm gonna run for sure. Are you from Charlotte County? Yes, sir. I'm gonna run this right in. I, I am sick of the tyranny here. Do you know he's putting people in jail for a freaking roach? Is that is that good use of our taxpayer money? No. It's not. You're telling me. Dude, it's insane. Yeah, Seven years of this. I don't hear. Uh, yeah, that's uh, mainly what we sell. What? Right okay, so we have this. How much marijuana do you have, dude? I gave an ounce to my girlfriend's dad. Dude, I'm 54. I used to freaking sell weed and smoke weed in school, high school. It wasn't a big deal. Now it's off the chart. Just because you gave an ounce, it never hurt. I had, I didn't hear anybody hurt him anyone was high. Did you? Was there a victim? There was no victim, correct? Me. When I did my time. <laughs> Dude, that. By the way, how bad is it in there? It's not that bad. Not, but it still sucks. Not the county. It's just time. You, yeah. I wasted a year of my life. Oh, so here's what. Here's a point that I'm making. All, all my websites are there. You know, please get a hold of me. Dude, you know and I know. If you do that much time, does that not destroy your life and your family's life? Definitely. You came out. I'm not even. I mean, I. It's a. It's a felony. That's the other part that sucks balls. They literally yeah. take your voting right and your gun well, right. It is um, a third degree felony, you know, just right. marijuana. So I, I'm, there's stimulations where I can still vote and stuff. Like right. If I do things, I'm not exactly sure. If you pay your fines. I think that's what the Supreme Court just said here in Florida. Yes. Like I can still vote. I can still do. A, I, I'm pretty sure I can get a passport, but right. in certain countries, I don't think I can go to because of it. For something where there's no freaking victim, man. Dude, did you see it so corrupt here? Nobody's even running against him right now. It's so bad. So I am, you know. So I'm, you're running against someone that. What are you explaining to me that he doesn't like? He doesn't like what? I'm asking you. Charter County Sheriff Bill Permel is totally, as you know, totally against drugs, which is insane. Because right. the biggest drug dealer here is our doctor and pharmacies. You can buy freaking heroin, but yet you gotta get a license to get medical marijuana. How stupid is that, right? Yeah. All right. So I'm running as a write-in right now. It's not official. I got my papers, you know, and I think I am going to do it later in June, July, near the end, make it official, and still make it a write-in because it's way cheaper. And you know, I'm not going to get enough signatures. I mean, because there's so many old people here that don't believe in freedom. Sadly, yeah. you know what really sucks too is you know and I know. Like I said, I'm old. Fifty. I consider myself old. I remember what freedom was in the '80s in high school. I did weed, speeders, acid, all of that. What happens if you do that now? You're done. Yeah, if you get caught, you're in trouble. And this is what sucks. All these old people here, dude. They had freedom. They had Mayberry sheriffs. You remember Mayberry the show? Yeah. Okay, they had that sheriff. That was a nice sheriff. He, if you're drunk, he'd bring you home. Exactly. And are they doing that now? It. Wow. Times have changed. It. 
Dude, you know it's all about, it's all about this. It is. It it's out. policing for profit. Did you know that Florida has a third most amount of people in jail and prison than the whole rest of the world? Wow. That's how bad it is. I didn't know that. You are product. Do you like being product? You are statistic. You are a slave to the system now, correct? Now that you have this charge, he can basically fuck with you at any time, correct? Dude. Are you serious? Are they harassing you still? No, not particular. Right. No, they're not. Just dropped All right. No. All right. Why? How long have you been out? Now? I've, it's been a while. Six years. Uh, All right. 2013 and 14. So. Right. All right. But it's still crap. I mean, there was no victim, man. That That's what I'm running on. If if there's a victim, then it's a crime. Good to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Just so you know, man, 22 new stores in 22 months. That's our expansion level for the next Wow. Yeah. Okay, now. Store if, a month. It's crazy. If they do legalize it, are you going to get into the legal? Uh, yeah, we're still going to stay in it. The thing is, we're here long term. So right. Vitacan is the only one that's not traded on the Canadian Stock Exchange. 100% Oh, you own. are a Canadian? Uh, no, we're not. We're okay. the only All right. one. Okay. Everyone okay. else is. You'll find like, uh, uh, what is it, MedMen, they were under an umbrella. Right. Uh, True Leaves under an umbrella. I think Kira Leaf might, may or not be. Um, but we're one that's Florida owned, Florida operated, right. by Floridians, for Floridians. Wow, yeah. very, 22 very. 22 stores, 22 months, huge expansion. Dude, and this is what sucks. You know what I know. If they would legalize it, how much money would it Look at Colorado. Oh, man. They had look so how much, much money you would make. They didn't even the know state how, would what make. to do with all the money that they had left over. Actually, I'm sure you've heard in Colorado, yeah. man, they have half the store is a safe. Yeah. <laughs> is that insane? Yeah, dude. It is absurd, but that, that's, that's the life. I mean, they didn't. I say. They need to hop on it faster because if, if, if you look at something, they didn't even know what to do with money in the beginning. You know, wow. they weren't accepting it at the banks. Now right. we, we accept credit and debit cards now too because right. we go through a credit union. Right. Um, which is kind of like a loophole. Right. Um, we're the only one that accepts a card without needing to give you a card first. Oh. So we're, we're beating them there too. Um, we also don't really? play with our numbers. True leaves in a class action lawsuit right now based on uh, stock fraud just by not telling their investors what's going on. They also just got sued for non-solicited text messages. So. Wow. I'm not surprised if they get a slap on the wrist this year. Okay, so you're saying that you do have THC and I don't need a card? You do need a card, yes. Okay, yes. and it's, you're saying it's cheaper? Or what are you, what are you uh, saying? Depends. It's, you're you're going to have cleaner, pure products right. uh, with the card rather than without because of the whole e-acetate vape thing right. uh, that was scary on the streets. Ours are triple, uh, rigorous tested. We got three third-party lab testings on everything that we release. Wow. Uh, every time. Right. We have to send it out. Um, so what's the percentage that you have in your stuff then? Uh, it varies. It varies. Um, but the state of Florida, one thing I will tell you since you're running for governor. Right. The state of Florida is going to, that's how you get your card. The okay. state of Florida allows allows variances of 15%. So Ooh. you can wave your numbers up and down. Right. And not actually be the number. We're the only ones that don't play with our numbers. And right. that's one of the... the the truly right. uh, lawsuit parts is right. that they were manipulating their 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 numbers because people were resending them out right. to lab testing right. coming back with different results. Wow. So we're the only ones that will never actually say you right. know, we're doing something, we're just right. keeping our noses clean, noses down, right. and we're just digging deep. So I mean if you were looking for a company, I want to invest in ours. I know the store can. is where at then. Uh, we've got one in Port Charlotte. It's gonna be outside the Port Charlotte Mall. Okay. Um, on El Joe Bean between the Culvers and the Steak and Shake. You know oh, okay. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Very, very good. Yeah. So this is this is a problem. I also like guns. Yeah. That's the problem. If I get the card, can I buy another gun? Now you can. Now. Okay. How? When? Ago, when? A couple months ago, they released a thing where, and when you sign for um, having a concealed carry, yes. it asks you, are you are you unlawfully taking like some drugs or something prescriptions okay and if not, you're not if you have a card a it's a prescription that so is you correct now and then you're good to go Inch so uh, i can finally legally finally a couple months ago i have okay yeah. what about when i buy a new gun they also ask on there yes uh still a prescription so Still a prescription, you're still. So good. that's not lying. Yeah, because But they do hate me, so are they gonna use they me hate as a tech you, case? But no, they're not gonna they're not gonna hunt you down or anything. I um, don't know about but that. But it's because think about it this way. Someone on pain med prescriptions, right. they're allowed to buy guns. 
That's what's fucked up. Dude, that's there's the thing. they're selling Oxycontin, so that, that which was, is heroin. That was the argument saying, well, why can these people who Thank are, you. you can see, are a little bit even crazier, yeah. long term even, why are we allowing them to have guns and not people with med cards? Which right, is on, still a right on, man. So, right on. Right on. Dude, this out. is the only fucking drug you gotta get a goddamn card to get. Yeah. Come on. It's crazy. How, it's crazy. That does that make you feel free? Uh no. No, not I'm at all. For it. So you have heard of the Constitution? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, that is good. Because yeah. so many people haven't, man. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Uh, dude, it was so I so I've been going all over. Uh there's so much stuff happening here in Puerto Rico. The traffic sucks balls. Yeah, Anyways, yeah. tons of events. I was just over the farmer's market. Uh-huh. Dude, this is a, this is how into it people are getting. There's an older lady, mm-hmm. just came from Colorado. Yeah. Guess what? Guess what she brought from Colorado? Weed. A fucking pound, man. Really? Dude. Oh my god, that's all the Dude. way across. That's crazy. So here's a problem. If I'm young and I'm driving, uh-huh. am I probably gonna get busted? That's where I think it's fucked up. I think they don't mess with them as more because they're older. They pay a shitload of taxes. It's yes true. or no? I yes or no? Like, yeah, yeah. Because you agree? It's up to the cops' discretion. It. It is. Well, not just discretion. It's discrimination. Yeah, yeah. People don't realize it, but it That's is. That's right. So if we pull her over, she's got a pound. Well, shit, she pays 15 grand in property taxes. Yeah. But this little shithead, he doesn't. He's so let's cruise. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. yeah we'll let's squeeze the lemon. Exactly. Uh-huh. And then we'll take the weed home. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. We only found a half pound. <laughs> oh, I couldn't believe when she told him and like, <laughs> yeah, no, some people are super open, even in the dispensary, they'll come in and tell me their friends, right. they're like, you know, what do oh, you think? I forgot to ask do? you, uh-huh. are the cops stalking your place yet? I have heard of that. Yeah, yeah, no, there's tons of them um, in our parking lot, they'll hang out in their car for like 20 minutes and then go to the one of the food places beside us, and That's like, near, why are you yeah. in your car for 20 minutes anyway? But I'll go out there and I'll just look at them, let them know that I see them, and then... Are they also go. coming by with the car with the plate reader? Do you have you seen the plate reader I yet? I haven't. Do you know what a plate reader is? No. Okay. That's uh, what do you got here? Okay, whatever. It's a black box about this size. Uh-huh. It's on the corners, top corners of the car. Really? If you seen Inside that outside, outside oh these pricks are legally running your customer's plate and running their shit, dude. Oh. Is that a violation of Fourth Amendment it again? It would be, man. Yeah, it is. You're not even driving. You're, dude. Do you, aren't you supposed to have probable cause to do this shit? Yeah. Unless you're getting calls, man. Thank I you. I don't know why you're here. Hey, that's, I would say it to him too. So. Did you know that on uh, uh, 776 and uh, Florida Street or whatever that is, that cutoff over there? Yeah. Did you know they have permanent plate readers now? Really? On the pole. You know what my theory is on that? Uh, They're getting the bikers. Because That's the biker true. place is right down the road. And if you know, and if you know bikers, then you can follow the drugs too. Because bikers always do drugs and illegal or stuff, carry right? It. Yeah. I mean, not always, but I would. I if wouldn't you be discriminatory, it. right? That's crazy, man. But you're getting into a fine line because bikers also keep their mouths shut. I, I just saw a case where it was 176 of them got off uh, scot free because no one opened their mouth. Like bikers are sealed, bro. Wow. So they got off with. Uh, well, because you, you know they'll kill each other in if Waco, they stay. Texas, <laughs> It was a shootout. Yes, yeah. I know. Nine nine them, oh, dude, them, you're away. Nine yeah. of them got uh, off uh, or got killed from it. Right. But 176 of them. Uh, dude, I used. Them. Yeah. No, I heard. 170 already... alleged shootout in Waco. You never heard of Charlotte County Cop Watch? I'm the one that runs it, dude. I, I, that seven years. Uh-huh. I know we need cops, just not corrupt ones. I'm sure right. you agree with that. Dude, my YouTube channel at one time had 70 million views. Really? Four million views a month. 50,000 subscribers. Two years ago when I uh, I went to the sheriff's accreditation meeting, I was going to tell the truth that he's a piece of shit. Right. Okay? Isn't that weird? The same day the channel came down. Really? Isn't Four that weird? Down. Yeah. No, it's not. No. So that's how, it, dude, it's bad here. How long have you lived here? Gosh, just under a year. Okay. And I already know the cops rats. Like, first time they got me was. Um, they already got you. Yeah, no. Wow. Uh, it was, uh, I got here, I moved here August. I had a charge in Arizona for a DUI, but they didn't They didn't charge me. It happened in May. They didn't right. charge me until December. And I had moved That's in weird. August. So That's I didn't weird. know about the suspended license or anything. Right. I didn't go to court, but I didn't have the paperwork right. for it. Right. So that was already its own thing. And I talked to the court, and they're like, oh, th- no, they have a year to charge you. And I was like, 
Wow. Okay. That's what messed happened? up. Process, but, um, well, it's funny you mention that because guess what happened when I was, uh, uh, the Democrats had a meeting at the Lashley Park. Mm -hmm. So I was there, I was interviewing them, you know, see if they're going to run somebody. They yeah. ran somebody last time, right? And uh, while I'm standing there talking to a guy, two <laughs> Dakota cops walked up, said, Mr. Sheets, we need to talk to you. I'm like, what the fudge? You're ruining my. Yeah. I'm talking to this guy, this black guy had a camera rig that would make you die for it. It would do to. Wow. So, anyways, so I'm talking to him. I just got trespassed from Punta Gorda City Hall just because I was filming in City Hall. What? I thought you were allowed to do that. You are. Public property. You are. It's public service. They literally made an ordinance that says you cannot, which is against case law. Yeah, I take it for it. That's some shit. Is that messed up? It is. It is if, very... If it's public property, that's why I don't get cops always... They always freak out when you start recording, but it's like... Like, they, they say it's like obstruction or, you know... Yeah, that's bull crap. That's for like, your safety yeah. and... Yeah, and if, that's what I would say, too. It, right. Like recording for both our safety. So this is what sucks. The two that came up to me, Punta Gorda, is supposed to have body cameras now. Guess what? They didn't have body cameras. So now I can't get the body camera. I but, request that though. Request the body camera. So be like, hey man, why weren't you wearing body camera? So here I am talking to all these people. You know, are you gonna run somebody or vote for me? Come on, you know, yeah. whatever, right? And they freaking come up and blow it up that I'm a bad guy because I recorded in a public freaking building. That's How crazy. sad is that? That's crazy. Is that sad? Yeah, no. Do you feel free again? No, I feel like they're out to get you for no reason. Uh, they are. They are. Dude, right now I am But this city's crazy. It, city they, is. it is. Because they wouldn't even allow other dispensaries. And yes. There's, there's some in Northport, so it's like, just because it's Sarasota County versus, you know, yes. Charlotte County. correct. But I don't know why they wouldn't want the money from it. D this city's crazy. It's like, <laughs> you walk away from money. The Millie. city is crazy. <laughs> so since you've lived here, you do know that this is a little bit, uh, right fascist type, correct? Yeah, okay, yes, yeah. Yeah, right? yeah, it's, it's hard to You see a lot of stuff. red, you see a lot of red stuff. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm talking about, right? Definitely. I swear allegiance to, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, you know, okay, you're they away. They come into the dispo too, so it's like. That's what's messed up. It. Even they away. do it, and yet they're crucified. I don't get it, dude. Beyond me. It's messed up. All right, I want you to make money. Yeah. I got to go back to uh, the, uh, I don't know if you saw that over at Lashley Park. How long are you here today? Uh, till four. Uh, I don't, it might be closed down by then, but did you know Lashley Park's having a huge LBGTQ and et cetera That's event? That's why we double booked. Miranda's Ew, is he? Right okay, now. all right, yeah, I'm going to yeah. say hi to her, man. We're, we're across. All right, across I'm going to say hi to her. All right, See you, man. You got it. Have a good one. Man. Yeah, you too. My email's on there, dude. What, do you get CBD water for people? Yes. You do? Yes. Wow. Um, it's at the That's other end here, actually. Interesting. Why? Okay, how much is in it? How much is it? Three. Three dollars. Three? Yeah. Really? Okay, so I'll, I'll get high or not really? No, not with CBD. Okay, so yeah. this is going to make me feel relaxed, relax, sleep. Relax. No, it won't put you to sleep. Cure relax. cancer. Got some grass on there. All right, uh, what, all right I'll take some. So what do you what do you think? Uh, do you think we should just legalize it? Well, actually, this is legal. No, I know. What Do you, th do you think we should go for full legalization on oh, marijuana? Oh, I do. I do. Okay. Okay, all but right. If you want to, if you want to talk to, this is actually. I just helped out. This is actually her. Yeah, oh. I do. I do think so. I mean, it's time to end the war, right? Oh, I. I, I mean, I, this I, is getting stupid. Yeah. And you know, I thought it was going to make it on the ballot for 2020. And it didn't. No, Two of them me. fell through. I know. I don't get it. Yeah. That's that's why I'm here to let people know. Um, as you see on my shirt, um, are, are you from Charlotte County? Uh, I'm in Lee County, and she's in Bradenton County. Right, I'll give or, you the uh, Manatee County. I'll give you the card anyway. So yeah, okay. I want. I'm, I'm running for sheriff here as a write-in, and I want to free the weed. But the sad part is, I think you know and I know. Every, so many people are against it. Right. I don't think I'm going to win, but at least I can bring it up. You get what I'm saying? You know what? I do have friends that live in Port Charlotte. Do you have another one of these cards? Uh, yes, I do. Lot. 
Um, and I'm, I'm retired law enforcement from Pennsylvania, so when you say sheriff, Oh my God, I'm so you're not going to shoot me? No. <laughs> All right. Did you know we're one of the few states you don't have to be law enforcement? To be a sheriff. That is correct. I did not know that. Yes, I'm just a regular person that I've, I've heard of the Constitution. Oh. I know. I know that's a bad word. No, no. no. <laughs> okay, how many? Oh, you know, if you could spare two or three, that'd be yep. good. Yep, okay, three. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Thank you. So that's why I made the shirt. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to go yeah. as a write-in. It's not official yet. I got my paperwork. Uh, I want to wait yet because, as you know, the minute you go official, they will, you know, examine your butt hole. Right. Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, especially if they don't like you, right? Right. right. Because what, I, what I've done uh, also for the past seven years is, by the way, by, and by the way, I'm for police, just not corrupt police, as you oh. know, which yeah. should be the right thing, right? Right. right. So I've been a reporter for seven years here, and uh, I've just seen the stuff that he's done here, and it, it, it's bad. He wow. he puts people in jail for a roach. Oh, wow. Is that a waste of taxpayer money? Yeah, I'll say. Yeah. It is. Yeah. So that that's why, you know, I, I can't take it anymore. That's why I'm running as a write-in. Yeah. I know I probably won't win, but at least I get to bring it in, bring right. it up, right? Right. right. So... Well. I wish you all the luck. I'm going to keep my eye uh, on the. All right, yeah, the uh, websites are there. I'm yeah, gonna, I'm going to check Correct. that out. Yeah. Somebody's got to do it, right? Exactly. Oh, well, good luck to you. Thank you very good. much. Yeah, good, good to me, to and you. thank you for not shooting me, because a lot of people, when they find out what I do, they want to shoot me. Oh, never, never. Thank you so much. Thank it's you. Nice you have a good day. Thank you, too. Well, Hi, how are you? Good. I met your buddy at the other place over there. He said I had to say hi. Absolutely, that must have been awesome. Do you like my shirt? Yay! That's a good shirt, right? It's a fabulous Here's shirt. my card. Thank so yes, you. he was telling me that I need to come visit you guys, man. Absolutely. Oh, you already gave me multiple cards. Perfect. So we had a great conversation over there. Um, so I don't know if I'll win or not, but I, I'm sick of the tyranny here in Charlotte County. I've been here for a long time. I'm my, actually I'm a reporter for Charlotte County Cop Watch. I know we need cops, but just not corrupt ones. So that's, that's what it. I do. So I'm gonna run for sheriff as a write-in, and I'm gonna try to free the weed. What do you think? Um, I think that that sounds amazing. Did you know that you do not have to be law enforcement to run for sheriff here in Florida? Okay. So I, 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 this is what I do know. I know the Constitution. And do you, do you agree and or think that they're violating it by cutting us off from weed? Absolutely. They are. Do you know the sheriff is so out of control that he puts people in jail for a roach? For a roach? A roach. A roach. A roach. That's incredible. Hey, did that hurt anybody? Did the roach, like, get up and assault somebody? <laughs> no? No, but no. the person with the roach probably got assaulted. Ah, uh, by happens. the police. Yeah, that happens. That is correct. So you already know, too, they shouldn't even be for enforcing it right now because of the hemp law. And that dog and the drug test cannot tell the difference. Are you aware of that one? I did not. Yes. And did you know the sheriff really was not supposed to be harassing people for that? You know, when he pulls you over and say, I smell weed? Because he technically can't tell the difference between the two. And he still did it anyways. You're joking. I'm dead serious. Oh my goodness. Yes, it's it's bad. My email's on there and, and he was telling me that I need to go to your shop and talk to you guys more. Absolutely. Because Come in and see us. We usually have a lot of patients, a lot of patients who are upset about homegirl not no I know. Oh, Jesus, being, you can make your own whiskey. Being beer. nervous to leave the dispensary with their medication. Guess what I asked them if are the cops stalking you because I have heard they're stalking the differences that's true they are they are they sit outside wow just because they're doing something legal yes did you ask them are they at the doctor's office where the doctor gives them a prescription for oxycontin which is heroin exactly how is that fair exactly and did you know that some doctors who aren't prescribing medical marijuana are telling patients that everything we say about medical marijuana is a lie. Wow. Yes. Because they want to keep people hooked on their drugs. Exactly. And they tell them that the potency is nowhere close to what it is with the narcotics. Wow. Like wow. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of a bad situation. Right. Because they would rather those people 
chemicals they addicted to those medications and ruin their lives for a little bit of money. Well, did you hear the sick part? The same company that made Oxycontin legal and it got people addicted is now making a drug to get you off of Oxycontin. So they got you coming and going. Does Would that you make you feel that? good? Wow, I just feel Isn't that weird? Toasty inside, I know. Don't you? So I heard he was telling me that you guys got harassed in the beginning, eh? Yes. By Punta Gorda? They're, they got a stick so far up their butt that they said no? Yeah. Um, it's it's tough. It's a tough gig. And as the events coordinator, right. even still, you know, trying to find events that we can participate in. Right. Like health events. Right. Because we are alternative form of medication. Correct. We get turned away. Wow. That is sad. Yeah. Isn't that discriminatory? I think it is. I, man. By the way, I told your buddy over there too, are you guys aware, look out for the cars that come there, the police cars, are you aware of the LPR readers? No. Okay, look out for a black square box on top of the cars at the edges, they're running plates. You have committed no crime, and if they drive through your parking lot with one of those, they're reading all your customers' plate and getting all their information. For what reason? Thank you, no probable cause, they're doing it anyway. Is that, oh, hey, we almost hurt somebody. There was a lawsuit. Oops. Uh -oh. Not good. Are you okay, folks? Yeah, luckily you didn't get them. Oh, goodness gracious. Hit this like that. I had no idea that they were even allowed to do something like that. I. They say that it's legal, and I don't know how it's legal. I don't think it is legal. They say you gotta know the rules in order to break. Yes, you have to have probable cause. So, how old are you? <laughs> 13, it depends on what you get, what I can give you, okay? <laughs> Go for it. Grab bag. Okay, let me make sure there's no lighters in there. <laughs> Wait, are you telling me I could have gotten a lighter? <laughs> no, actually. Oh. This is the best spin deal ever. Oh man, I want a grab bag. All right, so here's the deal. You have an email address? Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> you have a wonderful day. I don't need anything from you. You're good to go. Thank you. Wow. Are you saying I should spin this? Can I make it land on the grab bag? <laughs> Listen, I saw nothing. <laughs> All right. Let me. Okay, where's the grab bag? Uh, oh, man. Look at that. I'll promote you if you promote me. Absolutely. So I'm going to put your. Can I put this email? Oh, my God. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Big time. Yeah, the war. You know and I know the war has got to stop. Do you do you do you even remember why the war started in the first place? I have no idea why. Okay, I, I'm old. I'm 54, so I, I do know kind of. It didn't happen when I was alive, but whatever. When we stopped prohibition, which failed, right? Mm -hmm. Totally failed, made it worse. They wanted to keep everybody working, so they said, let's tell everybody that if a black man and a Mexican smoke it, they're gonna rape your white wife. That's literally how it started. How ignorant can is that? You be? Is that racist, discriminatory, ignorant? That's literally how it started. Look it up. All of the above. Yes. My gosh. That's how it started. See, this is. I know. Listen, you want to know about cannabis? I gotcha. But I, I need see to know that. A little bit more about the laws, I think. Correct. It, so you're looking to change all of that? This is what the sheriff can do. Did you know, first of all, you don't gotta be a law enforcement to run, so I'm not, I just know the Constitution, which scares them, okay? And your rights, so I can enforce what I want to. I have the choice, okay? If I think it's unconstitutional, I don't have to enforce it. I can literally make Charlotte County free for weed. Wow. Would you vote for that? I would vote for that. Right now, I'm a, I'm a write-in. It's not official. I got my paperwork. I haven't filed yet because the minute you do, they look up your butt to see, you know, if they could bust you for illegal donation, whatever, right? Absolutely. Anything. Yeah, I know, <laughs> especially me. So, anyways, um, so that's what I that's what I want to do is is stop the war. This is stupid. He's putting people in jail for a roach. Come on. What did the roach do? Did the roach hurt you? The roach made me feel better more than likely. Uh, exactly. Help with my pain, my anxiety. I used to, I used to partake in the 80s. I used to smoke pot, sell pot, all of that in high school, and it wasn't a big deal. And what if you do that now? Oh my gosh, they're taking your children. You know, it's funny prison, no when I was house. when I was talking to your buddy at the other table. Somebody else came up, like cause I love wearing a shirt out in public because everybody <laughs> started talking. Somebody came up, a victim. He said all he did 
was given OZ, which used to be been nothing back in the 80s, okay? Mm-hmm. To his to his uncle or dad or something like that, because he, he needed you know help relief with pain. Yeah. Did a year in Char County Jail. Wow. Who's the victim? Was there a victim? What? No victim. But he gave it to him. He didn't sell it. People are out here raping people. That is correct. And they are getting Uh-oh. just completely left. Hello, how are we today? I want you to get some business. I'll be out at the shop. Good to meet you. Thank nice you. Nice to meet you too. I'm yeah. Okay, do you guys like my shirt? Would, would you like to vote for that? Yes. Vote? Oh, vote. All right, I'm sick of the tyranny. Do you guys live in Shark County? Yes. yes. Okay, I'm sick of the tyranny, and uh, I can't take it anymore. I'm going to run for sheriff. I'm going to free the weed. Yes. Would you vote Would you vote for me? Absolutely. All right, there you go. So I'm a reporter for... Did you Have you ever heard of Shark County Cop Watch? I have not, no. Okay, Wait, so I'm... Are you the YouTube channel? I, I am not Ian McGuire. Okay. Okay, <laughs> I am not Ian McGuire. So I am the YouTube channel. Two years ago, um, you know, I know we need cops, just not corrupt ones. Agree? Agreed. Okay. okay. So I'm the one two years ago that had the YouTube channel that was at 70 million views, 4 million views a month, 50,000 subscribers. The day I went to the sheriff's office when he was getting accredited by uh, whatever the accreditation was, and I was going to tell him how corrupt he was, uh-huh. my YouTube channel came down. Is that weird? Go figure. I know. How does that work? That happen? I know. That's weird. So yeah, I'm the I'm that guy. I'm the one. Like I said, I know we need cops. You got you got to have cops, but you don't need a freaking police state, correct? Mm-hmm. So you guys know that he's putting people in jail here for a roach, right? A freaking roach. Is that? Do you like using your taxpayer money for that? No. I agree. Mm-hmm. It, it is stupid, and he's still doing it. Did you know? Since we the uh, legalized hemp, they are technically not supposed to when they pull you over and, and say i smell weed you know like they always do mm-hmm. okay it starts with the turn signal and then it turns in i smell weed they don't have a test the dog cannot tell the difference mm-hmm. and the test cannot tell the difference the sheriff was supposed to stop mellow down you know what the sheriff said fuck you i don't care i'm still gonna violate your rights mm-hmm. does that make you feel good <laughs> Not really. Paper that they like made a field field test now for different testing it. Supposedly, yes, it's yeah. in the testing phase. But in between there, I don't know why the paper's starting to support this tyrant because he is a tyrant, in my opinion. Okay. It's really expensive. It's twelve dollars a test. I mean, how many times? Do you I know. You know, he doesn't want to spend it on that, but he wants to spend it on you being in jail. Did I, okay, did I read it right? He is testing it or Punta Gorda is testing it? Well, no, I just I saw in general in the article it no, was you're right. that they had created a field test. Yes, I read, yeah, I read about it. It is not certified yet. I think Punta Gorda, I know for sure, said they were testing it. Charlotte County, I'm not sure. And yeah, they were trying And they were trying to say that Charlotte County mellowed down a little bit with the rest. I believe that's BS. He went, yeah, see, there, she's shaking her head. It didn't end. He kept on ruining people's lives for a victimless crime. So this is what, I don't know if you guys know this, in, in Florida, you don't have to be a cop to be sheriff. Did you know that? I did not know that. Yeah. That's interesting. So, and did you know in uh, Florida, if you believe a law is not right or constitutional, you don't have to enforce it. So that's how it would get away with freeing the weed. Because is this really constitutional, on the war on weed? Is it? What are you doing today? Do you agree or? I don't have an opinion on whether or not it's constitutional. Right. I don't, I don't, I know that there's certain laws that have been enacted that, you know, that's why we're in business. That is correct. Yes. Okay, so when they do hope to God, you know, they had two things they're going to try to legalize it this year. They all, both got blown out. If and when they legalize, are you going to start selling the real deal teal? Uh, we do have plans to, but. Right. Yeah. You know. All right. Did you, do you guys know why the war started on weed? Do you know your history? As in like many, many years ago? Yes, many, many years ago. We, the war on prohibition, they knew it, it failed, so they ended it. We have to keep everybody busy. Let's switch to weed. And we're going to tell everybody if a black man or a Mexican smokes weed, they're going to rape your white wife. Jesus. Is that good? A racist. Very racist. Very racist. That's literally how it started. That's pretty sad, right? Yeah, I, I never got, I never heard anybody when I was high, did you? 
no. I agree. I, I'm, I'm, I'm old. 54 from Grand Rapids, Michigan. I used to sell weed in the 80s in high school and smoke it, and I'm still here. They didn't ruin my life. What, 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 what happens if I do that now? Will they ruin my life? Probably. Yeah, it's correct. I did. In fact, wearing this shirt, I've had so much fun today because there's so many things going on in town that the traffic sucks. Anyways, so everybody's coming up. Weed, yeah! A guy told me he gave he gave his dad or uncle or something like that an ounce because he was having medical issues, which I don't. Who cares? I I never heard anybody on weed, right? Sadly, the sheriff found out. What did the sheriff do to him? Probably arrested him. One year in fucking jail for just giving your dad an ounce of weed. Didn't hurt anybody. Mm -hmm. Just gotta follow the rules though. Well, get his dad to get the card and just follow the rules. True, but I mean, that's all we can do right now. I, but technically, he didn't hurt anybody, right? He didn't yeah. sell it, he gave it away. Medicinal purposes, and right? He was in his house. Huh? Was he in his house? That's another good point. I didn't ask for that one. That's that's a very, very good point. And so for that, one year, his life was ruined. As you know, if you're gone for a year, is your life ruined? It probably would. You have no money, you have no car, you have no job, right? It's like starting out. Yeah, so I mean, and they wonder why they have so many homeless in town, right? The sheriff's making homeless, correct? Kinda? They can. I don't know, it's not the only reason. Right. Foolish, well, if, if they're in there long enough, like a couple weeks, that does destroy your life, right? You have no car, no money. They impound your car. Then you can't afford to get your car because they took all your money. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to stop the war... So you're right, running for sheriff. I, I, as a write-in right now, it's not official. I got the paperwork. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I don't, I'm going to wait to the last minute because, as you know, once you file, they're up your ass. You know what I mean? Especially a reporter for Cop Watch for seven years. Mm -hmm. Okay, they'll, you know, did you file? You know what I mean? You know, yeah. did somebody donate? So they would love to bust me, so I'm going to wait. So right now I'm just doing, you know, what do they call it? Research? Grassroots. Yes! Grassroots. Thank you. You know what I was thinking of doing? Somebody told me this too. Somebody said I can set up a petition table. I found this out. We can't recall the sheriff. I did not know that. His, he is the one job you can't recall him. But what she did tell me, I can set up a table and put get petitions to have DeSantis rip his ass out. Would that be fun? And we, I could have a whole list of all of his crimes. In fact, I'll, tr I'll try to end with this. As you can tell, I talk a lot. <laughs> Did you know the sheriff, I like guns, okay, to defend myself. Mm -hmm. The sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners. We, we got the list. Mm -hmm. It's a third degree felony, $5 million fine, uh, and he's profiling them. We got the emails. Send me, send me an email on the email and I'll give you the documents. I gave the evidence to the state attorney. Mm -hmm. Is she gonna? Is she arresting him? This is nine months ago. Yeah. Did she arrest him? Obviously not. You're also supposed to give evidence to the state attorney general, Ashley Moody. I personally gave her the evidence. Did she do anything? Is that sad? We have a felon in office right now running for sheriff, third degree felony, five million dollar fine, and nobody will do anything. Wow. Does that make you feel good? Is that is it just us or justice? Oh jeez. <laughs> I know. Very what do you think? Good. I know. Very, Very good. good. All right, I'll quit talking, man. What's your name? James. Andy. Good to meet good you, to man. Go, man. Where's you? Where's your place at? Uh, 1994 Kings Highway. There you go. All right. I will visit, man. This this. Right. Ooh, crap. You get are these free? Yeah. Yes. Sweet. Yeah. Very, very good. I will wear them proudly, man. Yay. Hey, by the way, next time you make a batch, can you make a batch that uh <laughs> um that blocks the uh the new facial recognition stuff? I sure will. Thank you. You're very welcome. Yeah, I'll tell them. I can't tell are, are you telling for you? Are you being you serious? Anything. I can't tell if you're BSing me. I am BSing you. Ah damn it. Come on. Alright, you have a good day. Bye. See you. <laughs> Hey, Sheriff County, this is Sheriff County Cop Watch. I am using any video here with under fair use if you uh, have criticism, reporting, teaching, etc. And please donate. I do not make money from YouTube, and uh, there are different ways to donate in the uh, video links. Thanks.